Congratulations on getting your first chauffeur. Now you'll be asking yourself the next question. What am I gonna do with it? So welcome to Musical Kinetics. My name is Toy Aris and I'm your host and this is a channel where you get all things music related from covers to tutorials to informational videos, the whole spectrum. We cover everything music related here. So today we're going to be talking about the chauffeur. Chauffeur is more of a Jerusalem kind of instrument. It's kind of a prophetic instrument. It um, it was used in the olden days like as a, a call, different, different calls you can give, war call, war cry, um, peace, celebration, different sounds you make, different patterns, like Morse code basically. The way you play your notes or your, your notes <laughs> will determine what message is transmitted. But nowadays, if you're not in Israel, you might just be using it like, let's say in church or just something like a prayer for prayers and everything like that. So my goal here is at the end of this video, you have a better understanding of this instrument and you'll be able to make at least a sound. It will take practice to get really good at it, but you'll be able to do this. So you enjoy that, right? So the first thing you need to do with this instrument in particular is to recognize that the whole sizes are different and it will take time for you to get used to it. But what you want to do is that you want to puckle your lips so that the bottom lip is over the top one. So like this. You see that? And I want to just blow air out. When I do that, Air just blows everywhere, right? So, piece of paper. So if I do that, puckle and... That's what's happening, right? So I want to limit the, the range of air. So the air just comes up from this center top, this curve of my lip. You see this, this, this diviture, the divot? <laughs> This is where you want it to curve in your lips. So try and close, seal up every junction. Just it just comes out from that particular point. So if you notice, my air is more is more focused now. Check this out. Right here, no air is coming because everything is coming to the center. Now, now that you've gotten there, what you need to do is produce some spit. Not really spit, some vibrations. You can do this. Or. What you're doing is that you're vibrating your, your lips together. And when you can do that, you want to do it with your everything else I've done. Lower lip over the top lip, air streamlined to this central divot, and add some vibrations. That's the kind of sound you want to make. And that's what induces the vibration that gets this guy to play. So I'm going to look at this. It's not a perfect circle. So you're going to have to continually twist it around until it gets to somewhere comfortable where your lip can sit. So, puckle over top. Hmm? And vibration. If I just blow air into it, like nothing, but puckle lip vibration. And now the other sound I did is just like it increase your airflow. It's like I push this in up just a bit more, and I force more air out through at the same time, and that gives me the higher note. And 
that's how I get that particular sound. So thank you for watching and um, keep practicing and I hope you learned how to blow the shofar. Take care.